shipping over more than half a billion tonnes of Chinese products every year. The chances are your clothes, TV and even your cups all come through here. To cope, Shanghai's new deep water port has grown so fast it needs its own 32.5 kilometre bridge. This is absolutely mind-blowing. If anything sums up the might and power of the new Chinese empire, then this surely is it. It is quite literally the gateway to the world. And doing very well, thank you, from our insatiable appetite for Chinese goods is Sabrina Chow. She was educated at top British public school Charterhouse. And now at just 36, she runs Hua Kuang Shipping, a 30-strong fleet worth a staggering 400 million pounds. Now, when I think of shipping tycoons, they don't normally look like you. <laughs> well, thank you. I'll take They're normally like big, ugly blokes from Greece or somewhere. But you, I mean, well, you times sort of... Are changing. Times yeah, are changing. Yeah, they are changing, aren't That's they? That's right. There are a lot of uh, ladies uh, ship owners these days. Really? Uh, yeah, for some reasons, all the ship owners in the past generation se all seem to have daughters. For really? some reason, <laughs> yeah, so you're seeing more of us coming out. So you're sort of taking over your, your father's business? Yes, I am. How easy is it for a woman to run a big business in China these days? It's easier than you think, actually. I think um, China, in many respects, um, is more forward-thinking than other uh, Asian nations, such as um, Japan or Korea. The men here have, a, have respect for ladies. Ironically, our consumption of cheap Chinese goods is giving them the money to turn the tables and buy up the West. A trillion pounds of US government bonds, corporate shares in BP, RBS and Cabri, to name but a few. So it might be a good idea if we learn to get along together rather well. I mean, it's, it's a crazy place here. That's right. When you come here, you get a sense of China and where it's heading. It must be the great Chinese dream, isn't it, to be top dogs? To be treated as one of the superpower of the world, yes. The superpower, like the number one? I think China still has you know, a few things to learn from the West and uh, some catching up to do, but um, yeah, it's definitely heading that way. There's no doubt that Shanghai looks amazing when you can see it through the smog. Industrialization has its price. Air pollution kills 400,000 people a year in China, and Shanghai is definitely not helping matters. Despite two thirds of the journeys here being made on two wheels, cars are choking this city. The Shanghai knees are managing the road rage by pushing it underground. 15 years ago, no metro existed here at all. Now it carries 3 million people a day, and within a decade, it will be twice the length of London's tube, which is currently the largest in the world. We're hundreds of feet under Shanghai itself. We are in the middle of where the big drill is going on, and I'm about to be a part of the new Chinese industrial revolution, because Shirley is going to let me do a bit of drilling of Shanghai's new metro. Shirley, hand me the tools. There we go. I am literally boring Shanghai. Probably you lot as well. Yet even with all this modernization going on, there's still an ancient culture that rises to the surface when given half a chance. So here I am in one of Shanghai's many small parks where literally hundreds of thousands of locals will come and do this, Tai Chi. I'm with Master Chong, who is an expert at this very calming form of martial arts. And it is sort of oddly serene, the whole thing. There's nothing like a bit of this to get you through the stresses of the day. Right, Master Chung? So 
this city's soul may be Chinese, but there's an obvious tension here between the ancient East and the modern West. And on the surface, only one seems to be winning. Hello. Can I ask you to see if you know who these people are? OK. Who is that? David Beckham. Good. Who's that? Queen Elizabeth. Very good. Uh, he's on the American Idol. Uh, I know him. Simon, Simon Cowell. Yeah. And the Gordon Bro uh, Mr. Gordon Brown? Yes. You know him? Yeah. Who's he? Beckham. Beckham. I was amazed by how many people actually spoke English. But then I guess that's the benefit of compulsory English lessons throughout school. It looks like our Prime Minister. Yeah. yeah. Do you know who that is? The Queen. The Queen. Very good. <laughs> Who's that? Beckham. Rooney. Rooney, yes. The host of the uh, American Idol? Simon Cowell. Oh, you know him? Yeah. Who's that? Si Simon Cowell. Yeah. yeah. Who's that? Oh, Gordon Brown. So China gives us cheap goods and we give them our celebrities and politicians. It seems a fair trade. But there's a more sinister side to the locals' fixation with Western culture. Under intense pressure to get a job in this city, young girls are now eyeing up shocking ways to stand apart from the crowd. This is a book of plastic surgery, but with a difference, because in Shanghai, the number one operation for young girls is to alter the shape of their eyes so they look less oriental and more Western. And I have with me Candy. Yes. Uh, you're 20 years old. Yes. And you've just had this operation to change the shape of your eyes. Do you have a photograph of how you used to look? Oh, OK. So this is the old Candy. Yes. And I can see that the eyes were different shape. And now this is the new Candy. How do you feel? Uh, it's beautiful, I think. You look in the mirror and you think you look more beautiful? Mm, yes. Today, 22-year-old Yujan is going under the knife. It's costing her £700 for the pleasure, the equivalent of two months' wages. Yujan, why are you having this operation? I want to get her a better job. Get a better job? <laughs> yes. <laughs> And are lots of your friends having the same operation? Uh, yes, about six or seven. Really? Yeah. And do you hope that you will look like Victoria Beckham at the end of this? Yes, I like. I like. <laughs> Her eyes are very, very beautiful. Very beautiful. Uh -huh. And doctor, have, have you had it done? Yes. Yes? Yes. Well, good luck. Good luck. I hope it goes well. Thank you. <laughs> Right, if you're squeamish, look away right now, because 40 minutes and one local anaesthetic later, and Yu Jan's Victoria Beckham transplant is complete. <laughs> Shanghai might be redefining the world's image of communist China, but don't forget this is still a one-party state where human rights are routinely abused.